that he's going to make the month of Ramadan. And later on in the phrases, we're going to see fasting. A lot of people get scared of fasting, right? That it's going to be hot. How am I going to do it? And for the Arabs, when the Arabs consider something hot, it must be really hot. Because <laughs> hot is their normal. So when they say it's extremely hot, then that's just, you know, insanely hot. And then that's the, and yet Allah chose that month for fasting. It's almost as though he chose the hardest possible month for the month of fasting. But we'll get to that mystery in, in, a, in a couple of nights, inshallah. What I wanted to highlight today is Allah says, that the first thing and the most important thing you need to know about this month is that Qur'an came down in this month. <clears throat> this month is important because this is the month that Allah gave relief to all of humanity, that Allah Azza wa Jal decided to speak to them for one last time directly to all of us. You know, Allah Azza wa Jal gives us guidance in our personal lives, but this is one message that is relevant to every single human being directly from Allah from now until the last human being that walks on this earth. And he decided that that conversation from Allah, that final conversation from Allah, that should be recited and heard over and over again, should be sent down in this month. What does that tell you and me? That tells you and me that this is the month to connect with the Qur'an. This is the month to have a real relationship with the Qur'an, a real conversation with Allah after hearing what He has to say to us. And what He's going what, what to tell us. The word Qur'an as opposed to kitab, kitab means book, Qur'an actually means recital or something that is read out loud. And so the idea in it is that this is the month in which we, we should be gearing up to hear what Allah has to say and to prepare ourselves, you know, especially. The other important thing, a mindset thing, you know, Quran is sitting on our shelf and Quran is sitting in your home and Quran's on your apps now, right? It's accessible. You can just, and you've memorized it. But we lose sight of the fact that what we have access to, I just recited these words, I opened this page and I recited these words, that what we have access to isn't something we're privileged to have. This came down from a very long distance so you and I could have access to it. And we were privileged to have this access in this month. You're supposed to almost take a step back and in your mind have an, a reorientation. I'm reciting something that traveled across the seven heavens from Allah so I could read what He has to say or I could listen to what He has to tell me. Like there's a sense of appreciation, you know, like to give you an analogy, if you have some, something at home, I mean, something sitting around at home, you don't even think twice about it. But if you see a new package unopened, right, and it's international wrapping, and you could tell there's stamps like, it came, whoa, what is this? What is that? Like you have this, this, this came from somewhere far. This must be really important. And there's this delivery. That sense that this is not just something that's sitting around, this is something that came especially. So the month of Ramadan is as if we have to, every time Ramadan comes, we have to almost relive the coming down of the Qur'an. Alladhi unzila fihi Qur'an. It's remarkable to me also that in this ayah, Allah did not say uh, that He sent it down. He said the Qur'an was sent down. That's the last thing I'll share with you for today. That the Qur'an was sent down. Let me compare the English. If Allah were to say, Allah sent the Qur'an down. He mentioned Himself. Allah sent the Qur'an down. And if he says the Qur'an was sent down, then he didn't mention himself. That's the passive form. The Qur'an was sent down. When, when the passive is used, you don't mention the doer, meaning Allah is not mentioned. And the reason to do that in language is to focus on the object. The object becomes the subject. The object itself becomes the subject. So this is a way of highlighting the special awe we have to have of the Qur'an literally being sent down. In this month. And that's captured also in the passive form, Alladhi Unzila Fihil Quran. So the first thing, first and foremost, when psychologically, when we think of the coming of Ramadan, obviously we're thinking of fasting. Some people are thinking of, you know, shopping. Some people are thinking of cooking and, you know, iftars and socials and all this other stuff. These are the things that are associated with the month of Ramadan, all good. But you know what we lose sight of? Quran. And what we do with Quran, unfortunately, is that we reduce the Quran to just recitation in this month. Just listen to recitation or recite in this month. Both of those are extremely important. But the Qur'an didn't come to be recited. The Qur'an came to be understood. The Qur'an came with a message. The Qur'an didn't come for sounds. The Qur'an came for a message. So this is a month to connect not just with the sounds of the Qur'an, but more importantly, with the message of the Qur'an. So inshallah ta'ala from here, we'll go to the next phrase tomorrow night. Barakallahu li wa lakum. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. Yeah.